Edward Black. Deeply in debt and bitterly regretting the decision he had made to marry a woman 14 years older than himself, Edward Ernest Black decided that he needed a fresh start and that only his wife's death could give it to him. Accordingly, he bought two ounces of rat poison and told the shop assistant that he needed it to eradicate the, the vermin, vermin in, in his, his house. house. Do you know that in the same year of 1921, when Herbert Armstrong murdered his wife by means of poison, the felon Edward Black had committed exactly the same thing, only he did not so much as hate his wife, but, but loathed her. Edward Black felt himself relatively young at only 36, but his life hadn't turned out quite as he had hoped. His job as an insurance salesman didn't pay enough to keep him in the lifestyle he aspired to, and his wife Annie, who owned a sweet shop, was now 50. Her looks were fast fading, and Black's love for her had died completely. The future seemed to hold nothing but poverty and caring for an elderly, unattractive wife who frequently suffered from gastroenteritis. But with the application of a little arsenic, he hoped that he could still find the happiness that had so far allured him. Black bought two ounces of rat poison from the Timothy White store in St. Austell, Cornwall, England, and on October 31st, sprinkled a killing dose onto his wife's breakfast. Then he fled. While his wife's condition spiraled downward towards death, he hid at Cashin's Temperance Hotel in Liverpool. Annie Black succumbed to the poison in less than a fortnight. By November the 11th, she was dead. Of the two doctors who had treated her, one believed that gastroenteritis was to blame, but the other was more puzzled. The symptoms didn't seem to match, so to be certain, he ordered a post-mortem. Sure enough, traces of arsenic were found in Annie's body. Suspicion immediately fell on her absent husband, and the police rapidly tracked him down to the hotel in Liverpool. When he knew the game was up, Black made a botched attempt at cutting his own throat. Having survived the half-hearted suicide attempt, he was arrested and taken back to Cornwall to stand trial. Black denied the murder of his wife, but had done nothing to cover his tracks. His signature was on the poison register at Timothy White's, and despite his protests that someone else had bought the poison and forged his name, Black was found guilty at Bodmin Court after a jury deliberated for just 40 minutes. He was hanged at Exeter Prison on March 24th, 1922. 1922.